In Houston, we will be attending a youth gathering, which is through the Lutheran organization ELCA. And 30,000 youth and we get together and we grow in God's love. Feeling really sweaty and overwhelmed and happy. For the next five days, we are going to hear how God's call, God's love, God's grace and God's hope changes everything. So today we're actually going to a hotel to meet with other churches from our synod. We're gonna, you know, sit down with them and have some talks and everything else. So it should be a fun day. Let's go do it. Excited to welcome you to this day of listening, working, and discovering the reality of life for people in Houston and the call of faith to listen to our neighbors and work for peace and justice. Houston is ready to welcome you into the story of the city. We hope it becomes part of your personal story as well. Today we are going to serve at Target Hunger. Our vision is a Houston where no one goes hungry and everyone can provide food for themselves and their families. Sometimes things happen to everyone and we need to find a way to work with groups to have that type of compassion. We look at it on the biblical sense, right? We're supposed to be a light for other people to see. When they look at us, they're supposed to see the Christ in us, right? Um, to do that, we have to understand the communities that we serve, why it's important to serve them humbly, so that we can be effective in what we do. So today you guys are packing summer bags with us. This will go out to our children. Uh, today we packed 680 bags for the children of the uh, downtown Houston area. Every bag we have that they can get delivered successfully. At the interactive center, we also learn about acceptance of everyone. So I'm about to donate my hair. Um, we're at the interactive learning center, and they give the hair to children with hair loss. Every night we would go to NRG Stadium and we'd have a mass gathering. People would speak about their life experiences and how God has affected them. Tonight, you have the power to silence, to leap into life and strangle all of the hate. It may feel like you're wrestling an angel, but don't you know God is just changing your name? I think this trip really brought everyone from the St. John's Youth Group together and it kind of gave us an opportunity to break out of our shells with each other. There is enough for every soul in this stadium and every vulnerable person on this planet. And even after that, God has plenty of hope, grace, and love to spare. The trip was about learning more about your religion, having fun with other churches. It's made me actually decide who I really am so much. I love this trip so much. It takes true grit and guts to look into yourself and to find a new beginning. My favorite part was going out, helping out the, the community, and just seeing how God's grace changes everything. There are so many things about this trip that inspired me and that I loved. Um, I really can't put it into one sentence, so 
there's grace for that.